What's up, everybody? How you doing? It is Wednesday. I almost said Monday. It is Wednesday, the 18th of January. This month is almost over. Can you believe it? I am back live. That's right. I am back live. I just spent a wonderful, wonderful weekend with Brian over at the Albuquerque Comic Con. So all you folks that came up to our booth showed us mucho, mucho, mucho grande love. Uh, thank you very much to all the new uh, folks that met up with us. You know, welcome to the club. A bunch of you said uh, you really uh, like what we stood for. So I told you to come on over, join the Sworn Nation. So I hope uh, some of you new folks from Albuquerque are joining us today because that would be excellent. Let's see, how are we doing today? Hey, Don, how you doing? He's watching us over on Facebook, um, or I should say YouTube over on Coffee TV. And speaking of that, please like, subscribe, and hit that little notification cowbell as i like to call it because a bell is just no we're all about the cowbell so hit that and it'll notify you anytime we are going live with any content whether it be live recorded what have you now get ready because on february 8th wow it's only going to be a few days from now uh we will be launching our next kickstarter that's right lady death cybernetic desecration wow i can't believe i got that right Woo! All right. Luckily, no Miguel is picking on me. Let me check the comments real quick because we all know Miguel likes to pick on me. Ernesto over on YouTube watching it. Michael on YouTube watching us. Kenny, how you doing over on Facebook? Travis Wall, what's up? That's right, more cowbell. You know what I'm talking about, my friend. Bless you. All right, everybody. Hey, good evening, Brandon. Thank you for joining us today. How you doing, man? I hope you had a good time. Everyone have a good weekend. Uh, I like to say I was telling everyone I had a blast in Albuquerque. What a cool, cool little town to be hanging out with. And thank you uh, for David Harrigan to uh, showing us around and taking us to some really lovely, lovely dinner spots uh, in Albuquerque. So thank you very much, as well as Miguel. Uh, thank you guys for uh, showing us uh, all the beautiful sights around town while we were able to. So yeah, it was a really cool show. Um, if you live in that area and you've always been hemming and hawing about going to the Albuquerque Comic Con, go, go. It's a really affordable show for families. And I had an absolute blast. It was so much fun and it was nice and chill. They even um, had a record setting attendance, but you wouldn't have noticed it because everything was nice, paged and um, arranged beautifully. So, yeah, it was really great time. Um, got a lot of new fans. Got a lot of new people picking up La Muerta and uh, Lady Death as well as Hell Witch. So we covered all our bases. Now we uh, come on in and join the Sworn Nation, and that means we hit a home run. All right, so we got a lot of stuff to go over, and I got some really great stuff on the catacombs. Probably by the time I get around to showing it, most of it will be, will be so, uh, sold out. So uh, what's that? Uh, that's why is the school behind you? There's a, you mean a skull? Yeah, it is behind me. So anyways, uh, hey, Derek, he's in Albuquerque. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Uh, I hope you were able to make it to the show and I hope you were able to check us out. The cosplay by Soprano and any more cosplays coming in the future. Um, Travis, I'll actually uh, let uh, Jimmy know that uh, any more cosplay videos if we can put them up we will definitely do that so we'll see what we got for you and see if there's anything we can upload all right what else do we have here oh we've got some news that's right we've got some news let's go over to where did it go where did it go all right so lately we've been doing print drops now we just did one i believe it was yesterday no it's today at 10 a.m uh 10 a.m our time uh there is prints for air uh ebass eric basaluda ali garza david harrigan and more now some of this stuff is dakota has been really digging deep to find some really old prints that haven't seen the light of day in years and i think she's been really successful um She's really digging deep, going through everything she can to find something unique. So people like Gary and all you other 11 uh, by 17 print collectors, um, definitely keep your eye on because we will only keep those prints up for one week. So you get one week to pick up any of the prints you see 
are uploading because they're only for one week and then whoosh, they're gone. So make sure you pay attention to that. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. Are you guys ready? Not only for our Kickstarter launch party, but we are launching Hell Witch Mysterious Boxes. That's right. They will be launching this Friday. Make sure you're ready. We are tipping in Sculpted Edition into one of those boxes. We're tipping in a very rare, <clears throat> maybe a Chase Metal, you know, like limited to 15 and 13. Tipping one of those in. Uh, we're tipping in uh, BPs uh or a bp uh there's going to be some metal so definitely pick those up uh that's this friday that is the hell witch mysterious box also this friday we're launching the diabolical harvest number one uh phase one now these are the kickstarter exclusives that are left and uh if you didn't get to back that kickstarter campaign now's your chance to pick up some of the beautiful additions that are left over that were not claimed now make sure uh, you're quick because some of these numbers are very low. So you want to be sure you are ready to go when you see these things launch. That's right, this Friday. Let's see. We also have, yes, here we go. Rare editions inserted in the 75 Hellwitch mysterious box. There is the uh, sculpted edition for Wargasm, which is um, those two making out. It's beautiful. And I, I also went in and found a promotional medal. So we are also giving away in one of those 75 boxes, Hellwitch Hellborn Metal Legend Edition number 12 of 13 by Jim Ballant. That's right. Pick up these mysterious boxes. There's only going to be 75 of them, but one of them will have a metal legend and a sculpted edition uh, will be in another also, there's going to be two publisher files. There is a BP edition, which is the Risqué Have a Heart edition done by Richard Ortiz. And that is beautiful. So got a BP. Also, we have uh, a meta five metallic editions are being tipped in and two random vault books. So I went through and grabbed two random Hell Witch vault books for this mysterious box. What did I pick? You're going to have to find out. Why? Because I'm not going to tell you. I want you guys to post it online, whoever gets it. Uh, some of the additions you can expect to go live on Friday um, from di for Diabolical Kickstarters that are leftovers. There is the Diabolical Kickstarter Naughty Edition, which is that rockin' cover by Sun K. Uh, that'll be $50. And uh, again, limited quantity. So whatever is left is what's left. There will also be the hardcover edition, also for $50. The um, Jewel Edition uh, by Nathan Zerdy, we will have those available. And there's also the first wave of prints. So you're going to have the Unity of the Pony prints will be available. Also, you're going to have a Dragon Quest. Oh, my God, that's a beautiful one. Uh, really stunning piece of Jesse Witchman. And again, these editions will only be available for prints. This is prints, on you. All 11 by 17 prints are only available till Monday, January 23rd. So you have till Friday to Monday to get these Diabolical Harvest prints, and then we're shutting it down. But there's some beautiful works by um, Jesse Witchman, Colette Turner's Falconer, tell you what. And there's also the Naughty Persuasion in there. Um, you got the 11 by 17 and the Naughty Gems, both by uh, Nathan Zerdy, excuse me. You're also going to have the gala edition by Richard Ortiz. So all those editions will go live this Friday. It's absolutely beautiful stuff. So if you missed out on that Kickstarter, jump in, get these uh, beautiful prints and book editions quickly because I don't think they're going to last long. And again, this is only phase one. So there's going to be a lot more coming your way. All right. Let's check the comments here. Hi, honey. How are you? Hi, Jay. How you doing? It's good to see you, man. I, I wish you could have made it to Albuquerque. I would have loved to see you, but our paths are going to cross, man. I tell you what. All right, everybody. I got some beautiful stuff. You can find these all on the catacombs. And uh, let me just go ahead and get a banner up so you guys can hop in and uh, do some shopping. All right. Now, today's theme is always classics, classics, classic, classics. 
Chaos Classics. Did I mention that? That's right. Chaos Classics. Can they begin with this? How about Rapture, number one through four, signed? Yeah, I got a complete set. Signed by Brian Polito. It's right here in the he Another great one I, uh, I got in for you. This is uh, from Pat Lee. This is the Dynamic Forces of Lady Death Purgatory. Uh, this is the alternative cover by Pat Lee. Boom, signed by Brian. That's right. That's right, everybody. Let's Let's calm down out there. I know these things are beautiful. I know these things are amazing, but let's let's be kind to our neighbors, all right? Okay. And what else we got? Oh, I also have, oh, I already showed that and that. All my books keep shifting on me. How about a rapture preview book signed by Brian Polito? Bam! That's right. Everything is a classic. You turned off the lights on me, yo. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Brian, can you turn on the lights? Okay. Hello? Uh, okay. Hi. Uh, Brian turned the lights off on me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Thank you. you turned the lights off on me while I was live. That's what I did? Yeah. I turned off? You turned off the lights. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, I love doing live shows. It's great things like this you just can't capture. This is awesome. All right, here's a, oh, I can't believe I found one of these, but this is the River of Fear Premium Edition. Signed by Brian. Yeah, I got that right here. Here we go. Don't calm down. I got, I got, I got more. How about uh, Lady Death reimagined? Side by Brian. Side by Brian. <laughs> Ooh, here's another beautiful one. How about Lady Death Dark Millennium Dynamic Forces variant cover exclusive? Boom. Not only that, this uh, COA is really low, so it's two fifty four. So some of these uh, COAs on these. Um, Dynamic forces. A couple of them are pretty low. Like, uh, what's another one I have here? Was it the Pat Lee alt cover? No, it wasn't that one. But there's one I'll be showing you coming up that actually is a really cool low number. Um, how about a Dark Millennium preview book? Boom. Signed by Brian. See what I'm getting at? That's right. Everything's signed by Brian. And they're all classics. All chaos classic. How about the Dark Alliance premium edition? Signed by Brian. Stop it, Brian. All right. All right. Oh, this one's, uh, whew. this is Lady Death versus Purgatory, number one, premium edition, limited 3,000, done by Jim Ballin. Stop it, Brian. <laughs> Get it. I only got one of each of these folks. I wish I had more, but uh, no, not so much. So what I've been presenting to you is, uh, you know, some really beautiful stuff and more beautiful stuff. How about a uh, Lady Death Tribulation set? One through four. Signed by Brian. Each signed by Brian. All right. Another uh, dynamic forces I have here. This is Lady Death Rapture. This is dynamic forces exclusive alternative cover. Wow, that's a mouthful. Absolutely mouthful. Come on and get it. See, and there's a cool little COA in the back from Dynamic Forces. Yes. Also, I got two copies of Chaos Quarterly Numero Uno. Oh, signed by Brian. Signed by Brian. Now, this one's a real breathtaker. I, I was, well, I'll be honest. I kind of fainted and I squealed like a little girl and Brandy pointed and laughed at me. Uh, when I saw this, because this is uh, Lady Death, Mischief Knight, Super Premium Edition. Bam. That's right. Signed by Brian. I got that here. Have no fear. I only got one, though. So I say we do Thumb Wars. Thumb Wars. All right. Next up. Okay, lift up the top. This is Lady Death, Goddess Returns, Premium Edition. Premium Edition. Signed by Brian. So I got all this wonderful stuff, plus anything that's left over from last week's catacombs. I'm going to check the comments, see who's got anything fun to say. All right, so 
Uh, we always ship to California. If you're having any issues with uh, shipping into your area, and this is for Rob, um, send your um, send it to our help desk. This will be inquiries at coffincomics.com. Moonshine Mel will get uh, to you real quick. It sounds like they just might be a slight uh, issue in uh, some type of coding matrix and she can get a take her vote. Yes, we do ship to California. Yeah, that sounds like a glitch. Um, so yeah, don't worry about that, uh, Rob. Um, let uh, Moonshine Mel know over at inquiries at coffincomics.com. That's our customer service uh, email. So email Mel, uh, Moonshine Mel and she'll get you taken care of and see what the issue is. Because um, if you're having that issue, other people are going to be having that issue too. I see a skull. I do too. It's right here in my head. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Oh, chastity books. I do have a couple coming, but um, not as many as they like. Cause I, I love the chastity character, Jay. So yeah. Uh, what's the damage? Oh, the Bobnibus. Um, it's like mostly like scratches and grooves. Mostly for that omnibus that I sold on the uh, catacombs. And this was recorded, so I actually did it late last week. Um, so that one um, mostly had a lot of scratches and dings. Um, nothing wrong with the interior pages, but you know it's a great deal for that omnibus. I mean, like I say, it's definitely a readable copy. It's just we can't sell it as like, oh, hey, fresh out of the uh, ceram. No, it had some had some dings on it. That's why I sold it. Hey, you're. You're quite welcome, uh, Mr. Uh, McDracul666. Let me know if anybody else. Uh, yeah, uh, Travis, shh, that's that's for later. Just tried to. It was hard to find a place to do filming today because um, we've got so much going on, getting ready for the Kickstarter and get you know just basically getting everything ready for a whole new year of kick ass. That's going to be 2023. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for me. I got to go ahead and get back in there and. Um, Find some more beautiful stuff for the catacombs for you folks coming up in the next few weeks. Anyways, I'm Julian the Hooligan. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today, whether it be on Facebook or on our YouTube channel. If you're watching us on YouTube, please like, subscribe, and hit that little notification cowbell so you know whenever we upload new content, whether it be live or really great interviews with some of our artists. Anyways, everybody, have a beautiful day. It's Wednesday. I will see you on Friday for our Friday edition of the catacombs. I'm doing the hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. I'll talk to you later.